Arizona is known for a lot of things, insane weather, rich history, and of course, many adventures. All summer, we've taken you around the state on Route 2021, and now this fall, we're getting kind of spooky. Just outside of Phoenix sits Wickenburg, and inside that tiny city lies a little place called Vulture City, and the abandoned gold mining town lives up to its name. Now, Joe and I, not brave enough to head out to Vulture City, right, Joe? But Crystal, <laughs> she's there for the terrifying tour. That's right, Vulture City is not only known for its gold, but also its ghosts. Now, it is in fact the headquarters of the Paranormal Conference this weekend featuring those terrifying tours. Here's a sneak peek at the spooks. Welcome to Vulture City. This ghost town is a hot spot for hauntings. I wonder where they get that idea. My name is Rod Pratt. And I'm Robin Pratt. We own Vulture City. We didn't know it came with ghosts. Don't hug the dolls. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marie Yates, Paranormal Investigator. We are here in the Izzy Paranormal Corner at The Roost. I hear you have a special connection with dolls. I hear spirits. A lot of spirits actually attach themselves to dolls. Izzy is a little um, spirit. She's about nine years old, and she's a resident here in Vulture City. She has attached herself to this doll. This thing will just go off and start playing by itself. And Izzy's telling me all the time, oh, I play it all the time for everybody because it's pretty music. This town is the most haunted location I've ever investigated. Where are we now? Jay Yates, Paranormal Investigator, here in the Assay Building. Where you're standing right now, you had a really creepy encounter before. And you'll see that a light anomaly uh, just comes out of nowhere and directly moves straight into my mouth. I was here closing up for the day. I happened to come into this door right behind me. Oh my God. Do you hear the, the jiggling yes. of the door handle, right? They want me to leave, so the door opens right up for me to leave. We really like to communicate with you, so if there's any uh, assayers that are in this building or any miners, feel free to come forward and communicate with us. I'm also holding a pair of dowsing rods. By crossing these like this, that would be a yes response. Outward like this would be a no. If there's any miners in here with us this evening, can you please let us know by a yes response? That's a pretty quick yes. Do you mind if we take some of the gold home with us? Oh. <laughs> that yeah, was definitely a hard, hard no. Spirits, do you like being on camera? Yeah, they're pointing to the oh, camera. camera. <laughs> that is the camera, yes. Do you guys like being on camera? <gasps> yes. Oh my god. My name is Nicholas Aberly. I'm a paranormal investigator, and this building is called the Brothel. There are three spirits mainly that reside and roam in here. I can go ahead and tell you a little bit more about Mexican Rita. So some of Rita's favorite things would have to be her perfume. So every single day she would freshen up to be able to see a new customer. I gotta get a picture of this. <gasps> Whoa! Do you see that? I'm still a little worried about this hand. Um, anyways, yes, the paranormal conference that is happening here in Vulture City this weekend. There's a celebrity meet and greet. There's going to be a lot more paranormal investigations like you just saw there. UFO sky watching. Historians will be here. Vendors, all kinds of things to check out. And because they're continuing to restore this amazing place, there'll be raffles and a silent auction to help with those efforts. Now, beyond this already spooky week and here, looking forward to Halloween, Tina. What do you have in the works? We have Villa Fane, Villa Fane Studios, and they're coming out. They've been setting up some displays here. So we have Mr. Ha uh, Mr. Hallows, and we have Grimgore sculptures. We also have a lot of pumpkins throughout the town with a pumpkin hunt coming to Wickedly Wicked Wickenburg. And you can check our website out for that for Halloween this year. I, if it wasn't spooky enough already, you're going through these buildings and all of a sudden in the windows you see these very spooky pumpkins and um, some that kind of are in very dark corners that you don't quite know until you're up on them. Uh, <laughs> can you describe some, how massive these pumpkin displays get? So in our assay building, which has these high vaulted ceiling, ceilings, it's a two-story building, we have 
Mr. Hallows, and he is nine feet tall. And so you can get your Halloween photos and pose with Mr. Hallows. We also have Grimgore in another corner, and that is a shaman witch doctor. And so you can come and get really spooked out by all of these scoop sculptures from Villafane Studios. Absolutely. So many spooky photo ops, and you always have to go back and check those photos to see if there are any other sightings in the backdrop. Back to you now in the studio.